It was a tough sight for any nature lover to see. Protest graffiti sprayed onto the natural rock formations at Red Rock Canyon open space. Today it was all successfully cleaned off. News Channel 13's Lauren Barnes is tracking how much it'll cost the city to clean up all the vandalism damage recently since those demonstrations began last month. It's new at six. A human touch added to the natural formations at Red Rock Canyon open space. A red and black graffiti tag reading Black Lives Matter 2 was not there for long. Me as an artist, like I, I understand the reasoning and stuff like that. Like it's, new, it's a way to express yourself, you know. Leonard Price is a tattoo artist out enjoying the open space with his family. Though he appreciates the message someone left there, Price didn't think it was the right place for it. It's, it's earth, it's natural. The city reports 47 graffiti locations linked to protests in Colorado Springs this year. That doesn't count graffiti on Park's property. The Park's maintenance manager says the paint removal process at Red Rock Canyon Open Space is particular to preserve the sandstone. We will use a sandblaster, but the media that we use is actually a biodegradable uh, corn cob product. Spray paint linked to all recent protests accounts for about $6,000 or 4% of graffiti removal costs so far this year on city property. But it's nature as normal here at Red Rock Canyon open space. The only red you'll find is naturally occurring. The city tells me it works to remove graffiti as soon as it learns of it. We find that uh, removing it quicker seems to help uh, because taggers and those doing it don't get to look at it for a long time. 145,000 tax dollars were spent on graffiti removal in 2020. It's less than the 163,000 spent by mid-June 2019. Price prefers his nature natural and his money well spent. Our tax money should be going to other places, schools, um, just helping people financially. There's people out here who really need money and for them to use it to just wipe off graffiti, I feel like that's dumb. If you see graffiti or damage from vandalism, you are encouraged to call the city of Colorado Springs immediately to report it.